Hey guys. Welcome to Freak Motion. Today we are going to create these. Without any further ado, let's jump into the After Effects. Let's create a composition with the same settings as usual. I am taking dark gray for my background. Alright, take the rectangle tool and create a shape like this. Now select this shape layer and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate this layer. For better layer management you can rename these layers. Lock this stroke layer for now. Now, go to rectangle path 1, right click on it and convert it to brazier path. Open path 1, go forward to 30 frames and set a keyframe on the path. Now come back to the first frame and drag these two points just like this. Now go forward to few frames and drag these two points just like this. We are done with this layer. Lock this layer for now. Let's open the stroke layer. And set a stroke color for this shape. Drag the starting point of this layer to 30 frames. Now, open Rectangle Path 1 and convert this to a Bezier Path. Go to 1 second and add a keyframe on the path. Then go back to 30 frames and drag these two points just like this. Now, go forward to 15 frames more and drag these points to the left, just like this. Now, unlock this fill layer and go to almost one second and press Alt plus closing bracket to trim this layer. After all, animation should look like this. Now, let's type our text. You can put your own text or you also can use this kind of cool text animation in your video projects. Let's adjust our text quickly. I am changing this word color so it looks better. Now, without selecting any layer, create a shape like this. Let's add a fill color to it. Make sure you place the text layer under this shape layer. Now change the track matte to alpha inverted matte of this text layer. Now, open the text layer, go to transform. Then go to 1 second and 30 frames and add a keyframe on position. Then go back to a few frames and drag this text just like this. It looks good to me.
Now type our second text. Let's adjust its position and size quickly. Let's make this text layer to 3D layer. Now drag this timeline to almost one second. Go forward to a few frames and add a keyframe on Y rotation. Then come back to first frame and set the value to 84. Press the spacebar to ramp review it. Nice. Take your time to adjust the size of your text so it looks better. Now, create a shape like this. and quickly adjust its size and position according to the stroke. Let's go to 4 seconds on the timeline. Open this shape layer and convert the rectangle path 1 to a bezier path. Now, set keyframe on the path, then come back to 15 frames and drag these two points just like this. Place the shape layer under the text layer. Select the text layer and press U to see the applied keyframes, then go to almost 4 seconds and 15 frames and add a keyframe on Y rotation. Then go to 4 seconds and 30 frames and change the rotation value to minus 97. Just make sure it looks like this. Now go to ending keyframe of this layer and press Alt plus closing bracket to trim this layer. Now go to almost 4 seconds and trim this shape layer also, so the stroke automatically disappears after this time. Select this shape layer. On transformation and a keyframe on position. Then go to 5 seconds and drag this shape just like this. Also, go to this frame and add a keyframe on path and go to the 5 seconds and drag these two points just like this. Now, select this shape layer and add a keyframe on position, then go forward to 5 seconds and drag the shape just like this. Make sure it covers the text completely. You can completely disappear this shape just adding a keyframe on opacity. Select all the layers and hit U on the keyboard to see all the keyframes. Then select all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them for smooth animation. Press spacebar to ramp review it. Cool. Right? Let's wrap it up for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up.
and if you really want these kinds of cool tutorials then hit the subscribe button. See you guys in the next video. Signing out. Peace.